Do you think your baby or toddler is transitioning from two naps to one nap? If so, keep watching. Hi, Nicole Johnson from the Baby Sleep site here today, and I'm talking about transitioning from two naps to one nap. Before I get into that, please like and subscribe to this video channel so we can keep doing more videos for you. We love bringing you great content about your baby's sleep from a holistic standpoint. We love helping new moms thrive and um, families get the sleep that they deserve. So let's get into it. So if your baby or toddler is anywhere from 10 months to 18 months old, you might be wondering if it's time to transition from two naps to one nap. The average age to transition from two naps to one nap is 15 to 18 months old. Now, in 14 years I've been a sleep consultant, I have seen many 13 and 14 month olds do it. There have been a handful of 10 month olds, but usually the average sum is somewhere between 13 and um, 18 months old. Now, if your baby is starting to show some signs that they could be transitioning to one nap, you might want to hold off. Let's say if they're about 11 months old, we do start to see a nap regression around this age that lasts anywhere around two or three weeks, and then they'll go back to taking two solid naps a day. So if you're starting to question whether your 11-month-old is transitioning to one nap, you might want to wait a little bit longer before you take the plunge. So let's see, let's talk about what signs we look for when it's time to move from two nap to one nap. First, we'll start to see the schedule spread out a bit. So right before the transition, uh, we often see about three hour wake windows at, in the 10 or 11 month old um, age range. And then what usually happens is it starts to increase to three and a half hours, four hours. And right before the transition to one nap, we, we often see a four hour nap gap or wake window before each nap and before bedtime. One of the signs that it could be time to transition to one nap is simply you're running out of time for two naps and an early enough bedtime that your baby can sleep at least 10 hours. Once nighttime sleep dips below 10 hours, we start considering whether it's time to transition to one nap because nighttime sleep is very restorative and we don't want anything less than 10 hours if possible. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to watch out for is your baby or toddler starts skipping one of their naps at least four times a week. Keep in mind before a nap transition, they might skip a nap here or there. That doesn't mean it's time to drop it every single day. Once they're drop, dropping one nap every day, it can become very exhausting for them. They can Sleep can start unraveling at night and you might have a big, bit of a mess on your hands. So one thing to keep in mind is that they're, they might skip their morning nap or their afternoon nap more commonly, it's the afternoon nap. They fight it at least four times a week, then it might be time to move to one nap. Now, one other trick is not to necessarily think that once you move to one nap, you have to stick to just one nap every single day, in, you know, forever. Uh, they may need two naps once or twice a week as they're getting used to the one nap schedule. That lasts anywhere from two to three weeks. It takes, um, on average, to transition from two naps to one nap. Some lesser known signs to look for when you're moving from two naps to one nap. Let's say your baby or toddler is taking two naps religiously, not having any problems, they go to bed fine, but they're awake for one to two hours in the middle of the night, maybe even three hours. That is another sign, some insomnia um, in, in the middle of the night where they're they're very awake. They're not, they are playful. They don't want to be sleeping basically. Um, so that could mean that they're sleeping in multiple fragments throughout the day. And that could be a sign that they're either sleeping too much during the day, or it's time to move from two naps to one nap. Um, sometimes a, a sign that it's time to move to one nap is both naps will become shorter. For example, let's say your baby was taking two one and a half hour naps, suddenly they become two 45 minute naps. Before you transition to one nap, consider increasing the wake window before both naps and see if that does the trick. If not, it might be time to start thinking about moving to one nap. One thing about moving to one nap is some people do worry because let's say your baby's taking their nap three hours after they wake up for the day and they take it fine, but then they can't take a second nap. 
how will they go to a one nap schedule? On a one nap schedule, we usually have to have them awake at least four and a half to five hours before the nap, and again, four and a half to five hours after the nap. That's not always an easy thing to do, but just keep in mind that once you start pushing that morning nap a little bit later, you could do it gradually over a two to three week period. They will be tired at their old nap time, but then they'll get a second win, they'll push past that point, and then they'll, they'll gradually become more accustomed to the one nap schedule. So those are the signs to look for when moving from two naps to one nap. I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe to our videos. I'm happy to talk with you further. Um, leave a comment below and I'm happy to answer your questions. Have a great day. Happy sleeping.